Wow. The Wailing, released in 2016, is a South Korean picture directed by Na Hong Jin, who's directed other films. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. And I'm new to the world of South Korean cinema, but the films that I have watched and have been recommended that I have seen, holy crap, these films are amazing. Kind of like this one. And terrifying. Pretty fucking terrifying. And this film stars Kwok Don Won, Hwang Jun Min, Shun Woo Hee, Jun Kunimura, and Kim Wa Hee. Guys, I'm sorry. My South Korean is terrible. And I know that I am butchering all of these. I am trying my best. All of you have been so polite about it in the comments section. Thank you very much. Please continue to do so. I'm going to be watching a lot more South Korean pictures over the next year, next couple of years, I, I'm sure. So please continue to be gentle with me. And of course, this film was recommended to me by one of my fans and one of my followers, Young Hyun Lee. You recommended this many, many months ago, and I finally got around to ordering this, getting it delivered and watching it, and my God, this film, it was a slow burn, it was a surprise, and holy shit, it was good. I still have these demonic images just imprinted into my brain. Whenever I walk into a dark room now, these are the images that I see. Thank you very much. Something strange is happening in a small village in the mountains of South Korea. Local police officer Zhang Gu is called to investigate several different cases of disease and murder happening in the village. Whenever someone gets infected with this disease, other people start dying. And we are led down this long, thrilling ride of exorcisms, murders, crime, suspense, horror. All with the suspicion of a strange Japanese man that just recently came to town. And this film is called The Wailing. And there's a lot of that in this film. Just a lot. Just so much. Through the first, first half of this film, and we're learning out, like, what's happening in all these situations and all of these people being infected, it's just this police officer going, oh, oh, over everything. This dude's a fucking coward. And at first, it's just hard getting behind our lead character here just because he just, he keeps, he keeps yelling and keeps running away. Not dramatically, very, very, uh, pathetic-like, and it's, it's hard to get behind this guy. And I'll be honest, at first, it was difficult for me getting behind this film. It starts off at a snail's pace, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, who are these people? Why should I get behind them? This lead actor, who's a freaking coward, and he's a police officer, he's annoying me. I, I really don't like him. I'd rather have him not on screen. But I encourage you, I implore you, if you are going to give this film a shot, stick with it. Listening to the commentaries, going back and watching the behind-the-scenes footage, of the director talking about this film. It's an intentional choice to make this a slow-paced, long, drawn-out story because the tension, the thrill, the horror of this whole situation, it builds and builds and builds. You don't notice that the anxiety is building inside of you until that final climactic scene. And then all of a sudden, you're kind of shaking in your britches, which is what I was doing. I won't hide behind that. Another of my followers who recently recommended this film, Wang Wan, he compared it to The Exorcist Meets The Omen. Two, very demonic, scary films kind of melded into one. And that is perfect description of this film. Because when I first saw a preview for this, I think it was when I was watching Train to Busan, but watching it, it seemed like it was, it looked like a zombie flick. There was this disease going around this village and everyone looked like they were convulsing and turning into zombies, which I guess technically we got, we saw all those, but no, no, they're not zombies, they're demons. Or they're possessed by demons. This is a demonic film, which... I was not prepared for. <laughs> I was expecting a Train to Busan situation. No, 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 no. This is straight up Exorcist, which is the scariest film I've ever seen. And, oh, it was, I was, again, I was not ready for it. And I need to stop eating steak when I watch these Korean films because it's just, it's a wrong decision. But what I commend this film for is its cinematography. How this film is shot when you look at the behind the scenes features on this DVD, it's very impressive. They would move rigs and all of these cameras up these very, very sharp inclines in the mountains of South Korea, an environment that this equipment is not built for and shouldn't be in. Just the use of camera angles and zooms, just very, 
very, very slow zooms. Again, this is just slowly building up that tension inside of you, and you don't realize that it's happening. We will have several shots where it's just a very slow zoom on someone's face. Whether it's the Japanese man who the town thinks is doing all of these demonic things, whether it's the cowardly policeman who's trying to figure out or just make sense of what's happening, or whether it's the shaman, or whether it's the young priest trying to make sense of what's going on. It's a simple and subtle technique, but it's just, it's so effective. Why not do it? In case if you don't realize, I found this film to be terrifying. The whole concept between witchcraft and demonic rituals it's probably the most terrifying thing for me to see in cinema. Well, that and spiders too, but if you really want me to torture myself, get me to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2019, and I'll watch Arachnophobia for you. <laughs> God. But it's not throwing it in your face like The Exorcist did. We get to the midway point of The Exorcist, and we know, oh, okay, this little girl is possessed by the devil. And here in this picture, yes, we get a little girl possessed or at least infected with this disease, but we really don't know what exactly is happening to her. Whether she's just really sick or whether she's being played with by the devil. So they bring in shamans and priests trying to exorcise the demons. But this film leaves you guessing like, well, is it killing her? Is she really possessed or is she just sick? Or is there anything wrong with her at all? Again, this is almost like a three hour picture and you are guessing the entire time, which is very difficult to do when your film is almost three hours. And actually speaking of, kudos to the child actor in this film. She was just a little devil. You can almost tell that the child actor herself is just having a blast doing this. There will be time where her character switches back and forth between nice, peaceful little girl and then demonic, hey, I'm gonna slice your stomach open with that butcher's knife. <laughs> Jun Kinimura, who plays the Japanese stranger, I really liked his performance. Again, he keeps you guessing, is he just a simple Japanese stranger, or is he actually a demon, or is he the devil? Same thing goes for this mysterious figure in white, playing by Chung Hoon Hee, who, by the way, is absolutely gorgeous. But there are points in here where the director, again, is playing with your mindset. One moment you think she's an angel, then you think that, no, she is the devil, and then you think she's an angel again. Just, what the, what the, just tell me! No, that would ruin all the fun. Guys, in the end, this movie, it, it's thrilling, it's breathtaking, it, it's beautiful, it's scary as fuck. We see demonic rituals, we see exorcisms, and they all look very real. And they had actual shamans on set during the filming of these scenes to really make these authentic. So when it's happening, I'm just thinking, wow, this, this really does happen. God, this is a scary world we live in. I'm not a big horror picture fan, but I love this film. This was thrilling. This got my anxiety going. I still have those scary demonic images imprinted into my brain and I'm probably never gonna get them out. The one flaw that I'm going to give this film, and it's a, a very minor, minor, minor spoiler, but a dog dies in here. And not that the dog just dies. No, he gets murdered by our lead character nonetheless, which makes me go, oh, you deserve to die. You don't kill puppies in films and get my sympathy. Mm-mm, nuh-uh. You deserve what's coming to you. I don't like seeing that. I don't like hearing those sounds. So just just a little tiny ding on the score for that. I'm gonna give The Wailing four and a half out of five Blu-rays. I think I see blue. He looks glorious. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part in my video where I randomly select which movie I'm gonna be watching next. So let's take a look. Awesome, this film is amazing. Get out! Bitch, get out of the room! Bitch, get out of the room! Get Out, written and directed by Jordan Peele. This film in 2017 was the talk of the year. Really, in a lot of circles, and mine included, it deserved Best Picture. <laughs> I believe it won Best Screenplay, which it absolutely deserved too, but this film is fan frickin' tastic The metaphors, the socialism, all the passive-aggressive racism that is presented in this film. Not like obvious racism that you get in films like Amistad or 12 Years a Slave. No, this is passive-aggressive racism, something that never really gets explored in films. And you know those people in real life that I'm talking about, those passive-aggressive racists. They're the kind of people that say, oh yeah, I have black friends. Sad. But I've loved this film every single time that I've watched it. It's funny, it has great suspense, it's thrilling, and it has a brilliant message. This just film is just brilliant altogether. So we will check it out next time. Thank you very much, Young Hyun Lee, for the recommendation of The Wailing. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, please leave your comment below this video or go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my Twitter. Leave your recommendations there, and if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout out on the channel. So everyone, have you seen The Wailing? What did you think about it? 
Are you gonna check it out after my description of how freaking terrifying it is? Please leave your comment below, let me know what you think. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, that way I can torture myself with watching arachnophobia, and that you know the next time I post my next movie review. So I will see you next time with my review of Get Out. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.